the overall business plan is Marvel Velocity, and we want to, you know, cover Alex's entire Marvel career from being a kid up to now. Uh, we want to try and show work that hasn't been published before, and you know, we want to bring people who may not be familiar with what we did into this. And I think we did that with this. people who were not previously aware of what we did. Every part of comics and artwork is a form of communication with other people. It's not just a, here, let me direct my thoughts at you as a mutation of concept, but it's hoping to convince you of how cool you think a visual could be or a story could be. And you're trying to communicate ideas and whatever. So every part of even a project like this that is in one part storytelling and greater part just graphic impact, you're hoping to relate a sense of energy, urgency, and enthusiasm to people, that there's a lightning spirit that comes out of superheroes that has always worked with me, that it isn't really about the practicality of what they might do about, it's not the practicality about grown men punching each other in costumes. It really isn't about that. It's a visual metaphor. And that metaphor could be for a lot of things, but it's mostly just about the energy and enthusiasm that can be found in the fun of life. It's comic book archeology span and it's, and uh, Alex, in a way, is kind of like me in that he saves everything. So there's everything to you know, like sift through. And then he's creating a bunch of new art for this as well, which is really exciting. The jacket is going to be this panorama of portraits of um, seven of the characters on one side. And the book needs to be a cross section of everything I've done to uh, represent the so in addition to getting a lot of things people haven't seen before, you want to represent fully like the projects, the pieces that are kind of key, so they all make somewhat of an appearance, if not taking up the greater real estate of the book, I still need to acknowledge projects that took years of my life that I contributed design to, conceptual direction to, because there's a lot of miniseries that I had kind of the formative direction of. I was both art director and co-creator of the content. So there's a lot of that that we need to get in there and show like, if you have like one Alex Ross Primer is work for this publisher, this is it. Some of the new things that we're including involve pieces that we haven't even printed yet for not just covers, but also uh, prints that I make with my uh, print license with Marvel. And uh, I've been doing any number of different portraiture of various Marvel characters, as well as very expansive scenes that there's really no place for them to go in Marvel's publishing because they don't fit a, a cover format and they're not specific to storytelling. But like say, I just did a piece with Thor that I completed a couple of weeks ago that the whole view of Asgard and all of the supporting characters, both villains and heroes, and we've seen the city of Asgard in the far distance and the head of Odin and Loki and all these elements arrayed together. I mean, Alex's work excites me on many different levels. Uh, that one person can be so incredibly talented and to see that in action is amazing. And then it's it's all these characters the way you really wanted to see them. As a kid and, and in the way that, that the movies still don't get right. Um, but he, he does, and, and that's, that's going to be a perfect example with this book. Like yesterday, we shot this bus that he had done of the Green Goblin. And it's exactly the way, you know, Ditko's Green Goblin would look in three dimensions as a real being. And uh, that's exciting to me. And I, and I don't understand why they don't go for that in the movies. And I'm not in the movie business. I don't know the movie business. Uh, but in a way, I'm glad because then he can do it, and then we can put it in a book. There's a similarity I've kept up in my work or the uh, viewing of all the characters, maybe some of the way that I saw them when I was younger, but it's evolved ever so lightly. I've tried to pick up on things that they might be doing in movies to understand a different way of seeing things, or to re-examine the way that I've interpreted something over time, whether it's the way I might draw a face or a costume, 
Uh, I'm trying to draw the Spider-Man costume different than the way, maybe the way I did 25 years ago, and learn new details, new ways of illustration that could kind of enhance certain things. The book is my passion project at the moment, and will be coming out in fall 2018.